moving on the next point we have a next tool right that is http recon right as name represent what you need to do that if you want to simple verify right the web server type like either you are using um, apache using is server you are using nginx or maybe the passenger right let's suppose we have applications on all those things right the what kind of web server you are using that right over the windows so maybe the ia server linux that could be your apache uh, that could be your nginx we have a like uh, passengers as well so again uh, http recon is like a windows based tool right that help you to find those information like what kind of so it's like active again active um, food printing so with the help of these we can simply gather the information and then we can perform those uh, uh, reconnaissance in online or active mode so for that if you notice what they are mentioning again so we can check those um, detail like what kind of details so we can configure and open uh, and checking those um, public website websites and all right and it may be vulnerable to uh, the variety of different different security threats right and uh, again we can also check those uh, those um, um, uh, the type of versions about that what type of version you are using there right and then they, those configurations right so with the help of these we can simply grab those server fingerprint right banner grabbing attacks and all those things right status code enumerations and other information of the systems too as well right so for that what i want to do that we have a default tool you can download from those uh, exe file we can see from the internet and all right so in my case what i'm going to do that okay so the simple launch this application is like runtime now the simple mention your um, maybe http or https and then website and then port number right and then simply click on the analyze right it's like a sample actually you can change anything right so if you notice now even though here they show that they are that configure on this particular which of which machines that configure on those particular um, um, the server type right and then the server type what they are using that that we can see the apache even though it show here like apache 2 point something like that right the fingerprint details maybe they occur that the fingerprint detail the protocol type then the protocol versions then status code is success right the banner they are using the nginx 1.21 actually right and then other order and uh, those fingerprint detail for the same right these are information the last modified date and all right and then the long request existing protocol maybe they may be configured on the soul then header record options everything they will show that right you can also store this record right overall when when we run those example so here we have a get long risk record then you like fingerprint details and all those they will show that right so with the help of this information what we can do we can simple get or gather the information with the help of these gather info, gathering information we can capture the entire informations about those servers clear with that right so http recon especially that we can check that like what kind of uh, version you are using that of the web servers then the header record and other information in online or active status right so this information similarly we have another tool that we can see the id serve right so id serve what we can say okay so next what we have that id serve right so id serve specially to get the type of the server right type of server means what we can say though we are using apache or uh, uh, maybe we are using uh, um, we can say the apache nginx or what right so for that what i can do that simple we have a tool for id serve let me launch that ID serve okay. right now simple mention your uh, URL or website let's suppose I have a URL something www.webasha.com right and then simple query the servers right if you notice now what they are saying that so we are using a apache so depend on that like what kind of server you are using that it will show that right in the same way if suppose you are using something okay now for the servers here they have the header block right so the command what they can say that the header record is available then we can simple provide those authentication authorization if the header record is not available 
then we cannot provide those authentication authorizations. So depend like how we wanted to perform those things, we can perform in that way. Clear with that? So ID serve is a simple sir, command, right? That we can uh, check the what type of server you're using, using there with the help of different different mechanisms and different different tools. Now in the same thing, wanted to verify those information with the help of netcat command. You can simply use this command like nc netcat, right? So netcat hyphen v and then we can simply mention those informations not nc and v is nc netcat hyphen verbose right and then the server information so we can say we have like server something uh, uh, moviescope.com and over the which port number the port number right and also you can use this particular telnet 2 as well so we can so show that like we have a telnet 2 so we can simply check those in with the help of the telnet, the telnet and then the record so what we can say that the record we have like something um, www something movie scope.com and then the port number like i want to get the information on the active port number the active port number right that will show the header record and all the other information it will take time like not more than five minutes but again it will take time right after that we have like uniscan it's like again um, tool with the help of these tool what we can do we can simply get the information about the all the uh, information type right so, right uniscan right the for very first you need to install the packages right so you again uniscan used to get the information about those machines uniscan okay and now simple run a command like the url and all those things what command we have that uniscan okay the URL we can mention that we have a URL something like HTTP colon double slash 10.10.10.1.22 slash ch under that the port number I guess uh, the 8080 right and then the ch and then we are just performing the queries right just hit enter right so what this command actually doing so this command simple get the information about this particular um, web server right with the help of this right it will show the fingerprint information, right? The treasury record, the NS lookup, and other um, uh, information, especially those the um, Google search information, the search IP addresses, right? And other information of the systems too, as well. So hit enter. If you notice now, they are simple talking about the admin pages. If you click on this particular URL, it will show those admin pages, correct? And all this record, right? Here we have admin pages, right? Then this command will show all the record, whatever we run over these machines, like that. Correct. So units can again wanted to verify those vulnerabilities, those um, ping, um, ping, uh, and then trash route and all this information we can mentions in that way. So okay, let it run. The finally what we have there is like a small point, the web server attack. In the same point or in the same view, what we can do, we can simply perform a web server attack, right? With the help of which tool, Hydra. So what Hydra, so again Hydra is like a tool, it's like a uh, password cracking tool. We can simply provide those um, word lists to crack the FTP user and password, right? So let's suppose what we have that, we have a server, right? That running somewhere else. So what I'm going to do that, I'm going to simply scan those my machines, right? So in that process or in that way, okay, so let it run, it will take time. So what I'm going to do that, I'm going to open the new terminal for now. So let's suppose I want to uh, attack on this machine. So here I'm going to simply check the, uh, the port scanning, right, with the help of nmap command. And it will show that we have some ports are open or not, right. So let's suppose FTP is open. So what I'm going to do that, we have a um, word list for the sim. So what command we have dot Hydra, right, and simple mention your word list. We can say the uh, word list file, maybe the user and then the password list, right. So for that, we have uh, actually a um, world disk program file that may be under those part. So I'm just mentioning like login detail. So that is under my home attacker. And uh, then uh, under the desktop, we have like world list. Okay, no, so this is under those um, uh, C eh 12 1.13 under that we have a like word list right under that we have a like username right so this is my username and similarly we have another program that we can say the for the password we can mention the password file that is also under the same in my case we have already a word list 
attacker <coughs> depth stop ceh v12 13 lab and then we have like word list and then we have like password right just hit enter right so this command is going to check all the possible user and password from this particular world list and then after the find the information about those servers okay and finally we need to mention those ftp protocol ftp colon double slash 10.10.1.11 right so here word list is important actually so accordingly what you can do you can simply generate and configure those information and those authentication for the same okay so if you notice now here we got a kind of username we can see the martin the password is apple right it will take time so i'm just cancelling those points it, it means what it means if you're trying to log in with this user and password 1.11 okay what's the username they have mentioned that the username they mentioned that something martin correct so mar martin and then password is apple. here we can log in successfully you can notice now right so what we can say with the help of this particular hydra if we have a word list and all those things then what we can do we can simple authenticate and perform those kind of actions and information clear with that right so this is end of this particular uh, chapter web server right